So I recently got an error as I was trying to export my um, circuit through into a Gerber. Right here you can see that I have, I'm using EagleCAD 7.3. I have my cam ready to go, all my settings ready, and as I'm about to process the job, it says signal and some wire name contains a polygon that may cause extremely large plot data. And it's not going to run. Now if you've done any sort of Googling, you'll know that the error comes from a wire that has that's a zero width. So in this case you see that I have a width zero. I have multiple wires that are width zero. Um, now there's a two-part solution to this and this is why I made the video because no one's told me about the other one that I could find on on Google. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna make sure my width and I just happen to have consistent traces but I'm gonna set my width to 0.6 and I'm gonna do change group. So now everything, you can see immediately that everything is, um, has changed. Now what I could have done too, by the way, I could have done show in my little bar up here, and um, I could do the, the wire name, which happened to be n dollar sign 20, and it could sh it's gonna show me what which one was had the air in it. So this was the polygon that had the air in it which is, it is a wire um, that makes up a polygon. It's kind of, you can't see it. If I were to bring it into a, um, a PDF, you'd probably see it. Or if I were to break it down, you'd see a bunch of nodes that go back and forth to create these polygons. Anyways, so, but yeah, so if you were wondering which layer or what part of your schematic is, is ailing you, you could do that. Um, anyways, now let's go back to my cam and I'm gonna process the job. Uh, no, I don't want to save it. But it still says, hey, you know, N20 contains a polygon that make, you know, it still get the same error. And this is why. So I'm going to save this real quick as, what do I have it? Save as chip 3. Save. Then I'm going to exit out. And you don't want to exit these individually. You probably know that. You go to File, um, Close Project. I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to reopen my Eagle CAD. File project. Okay. And no, notice that now I saved it. Now that it opens up, now it has these wires at the thickness that is appropriate for my Gerber. I'm going to open the job that I had. Process. It went. It was successful. And now I can go into the file and I have my. Uh, exported Gerber's right here, my exported file. So yep, that's how to do it. So again, the um, the trick is is to make sure that none of your wires are with zero, that they're bigger than zero. At at least, they have to be bigger than zero. That's all they need to be. And if you're if it's still not working, restart your Eagle Cat. That's the secret. Anyways, if you um, found this useful, um, like the video. That's all I'm asking. Have a good one.